Thank you for joining us this morning. There has been intense criticism of that $6 billion hostage deal President Biden recently made with Iran, a nation that, of course, has historically been one of the greatest state sponsors of Hamas and Hezbollah. There is no evidence that any of the $6 billion has left the Qatar accounts, however, where the money is being held, held rather. But do you believe that those funds or even the promise of those funds contributed in any way to these attacks, as former President Trump mentioned? Yes, the weakness. I'm so tired of this administration and this president, to be honest with you. It's weakness in Afghanistan. It's weakness in Ukraine. It's weakness with Taiwan. And of course, when we gave Iran the main sponsor of terrorism, a big supporter of Hamas, these arms came, these bombs came from Iran. What did we think is going to happen? These people only understand strength. And unfortunately, we're not showing any strength. And I, it's, you know what? And you know what scares me even more? Believe me, it's not only all of these issues. And Israel, by the way, we have to stand with them in solidarity. We have to support them. This is a horrific, horrific uh, war that's going on. And what they did to Israel is inexcusable. To children, to women, to civilians, to United States citizens. But, you know, we have to worry even about the United States of America. At our southern border, we are letting in people by the millions. We don't know who they all are. Uh, we have like almost 20,000 Chinese nationalists. We don't even know why they're coming over. What's that all about? And if you don't think that shows our weakness as well, and we know for a fact that people who are on the terror watch list are getting through. We've already gotten about 150 of them, but we know there's a lot more. I'm tired of a weak president. I'm tired of a weak administration. I'm tired of a weak secretary of state. It is time for this country to stand up and be the nation that we are. And you know what? We'll have more peace, not less. We'll be stronger, not less. Yeah, this is a huge moment for us in time. Um, yesterday afternoon on Saturday Report, former Israeli Prime Minister Olmert addressed the, this attack in an exclusive interview with Rita Cosby. Here's what he had to say. There is no way that we will not react uh, to this terror organization. It will be uh, very aggressive and uh, it will last perhaps uh, more than just a few hours, but it will reach out for uh, all the leaders uh, of these terrorist organizations uh, and um, they will have to uh, uh, pay dearly for what they were perpetrating today. So, Congressman, President Biden said yesterday that the U.S. stands with Israel. Does that mean that the U.S. is going to provide direct military support to Israel? Or what does that look like? And what do you think that we should be doing? Well, we will stand with Israel. And, and let me tell you one thing about Israel. This is a strong nation, and they're focused, and they have a great leader, Netanyahu. So they will react in the appropriate way with this. And again, if they need, and we have that strong partnership and bond with them, if they need support, as far as not troops on the ground, obviously, they've never asked for that. But as far as munitions, as far as advice, as far as sharing intelligence, we have to stand with them. They are the civilizing force in the Middle East. They are what separates civilization from complete disharmony in the Middle East. So it is important. We've always had that relationship with them. But, you know, it's also important that we stand for something. It's great now that the president is supporting Israel. But for so long, he was mom. For so long, he wouldn't even let Netanyahu meet in the White House with him. He made sure it was in New York or somewhere else. I'm, again, I don't know how else to express it, but I'm just sick and tired of it. The weaker that you are, the more vulnerable you become and the more of a chance there is to become involved in foreign entanglements. And that's something Ronald Reagan told us when he said, no nation is ever attacked because it's too strong. And this shows what happens when you get weaker. And this isn't the end of it. With this leadership and the failure of them to support Israel as strongly as they should have all along, you know, saying a few words is easy. But now we have a real situation there. And if we're not careful, we're going to have one in the United States of America. All right, Congressman, I do want to switch gears to this. Uh, the race for House Speaker, both Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise, have thrown their hats into the ring. And former President Trump has thrown his support behind Jim Jordan. Now, this is what Jordan had to say about his run for Speaker when he joined Greta Van Susteren on the record this past Friday. This job at this moment 
is really about two fundamental questions. Um, who can unite the Republican conference? Who can bring the team together? And then who can go tell the American people what we're doing and why it matters to them, how it impacts them, their family, their community, their small business. That is what the role is. I think I'm the one individual uniquely positioned within the conference to bring the team together. Congressman, who has your vote for House Speaker? I already, a uh, few days ago, um, actually right from jumpstart, uh, supported Jim Jordan. I I've worked with him very closely. I've worked with him closely on the Judiciary Committee. I've seen his focus, I've seen his energy, I've seen his sincerity. Uh, he will be a great leader, and I look forward to working with him. But let me say this, Steve Scalise is a good man. I think Jim Jordan's the man for the job, but whomever is chosen at the end of the day, this caucus must stick together. I, I really do believe right now, at this point in history, the Republican Party may not be perfect, but it is the last hope for the future of the Republic. This is a very, very important time. All right, Congressman Jeff Vandrew from New Jersey, thank you. And of course, I always smile when I see your American Dental Association pin. Right Absolutely. There on your American <laughs> uh, my dad appreciates it too. All right, thank you, Congressman. Thank you. All right, and coming up, we have ongoing coverage of the latest attacks in Israel. Stay tuned.